For today's service call, we're replacing a bad audio amplifier in a commercial location. I stacked the old amplifier on top and the new amplifier on the bottom to make sure that I was matching all of the exact same settings. The little blue switches here are dip switches, and you can see underneath it there's a guide that says what they mean. I basically just made sure that the new amp had the exact same dip switch settings as the original one. Next, I brought the speaker wire from the manual volume control over, and I put red on 70 volt and the black on common, and that's what you would need to do in this situation. Next, I put the little plastic cover over just to avoid shorts and to do the job tidy and right. I had to adjust the wires just a little bit to fit the cable protector over it, and you want to put this back over it. It really locks down the cables so that if they get pulled on, they're not going to come loose. Of course, you don't want to forget the basics, so we got to plug the power cord in. Now we're going to take the media player and we're going to connect it to the input. It goes from a 3.5 on the media player to RCAs on the amp. Pretty straightforward, white to white, red to red. Then we're going to power up the amplifier. We're going to turn up the volume. That's the main volume. We're going to turn that up just a mid-range. We're going to turn up the input volume, kind of a mid-range. And of course, the manual volume control is about mid-range. Now I've powered up the media player and I'm waiting for it to sync with the internet. And then it'll start broadcasting and pushing a signal to the amp. And you can see on the input control there in the middle, I've got green light. So that's telling me that signal's coming in. But on the main, it's still just a very faint signal, so I've turned it up. Here's one last look at the volume control. You'll see that yellow cable. Whoever installed this used a Cat5 network cable for the speaker output instead of an 18-2 speaker cable wire. Now I do one final check of all my connections just to make sure, and then I go out on the floor and listen to make sure that I can hear the audio outside at the speakers. And we're done.